Hi everyone, today let us see about the parameters to be <coughs> monitored and controlled during a fermentation process. So during a fermentation process, uh, lots of probes, uh, temperature control, pH control, uh, dissolved oxygen control, etc. There are many types of control during a fermentation process. What are the controls or what are the parameters to be monitored? There are many parameters to be monitored during a fermentation process. These parameters can be seen in this PowerPoint. So, what are the different parameters for cultivation system? It may be physical, chemical or biological. So, there are three types of parameters that you have to take into account. It may be physical parameter or chemical parameter or biological parameter. <coughs> So, first let us see about the physical parameter. What is this physical parameters? It's all about the physical conditions. So, first physical condition that you have to par uh, you have to monitor while doing a fermentation process is temperature. Temperature is very, very important. The next is pH is also very important. That comes under chemical, uh, chemical parameter. Okay. So, first let's, let us see about the physical parameters. What are they? Temperature, pressure. Pressure is also very important important uh, agitate agitation speed so what's the rpm that you have to set while doing a fermentation process for particular uh, for many type of organisms it may vary for uh, when you are going to cultivate yeast uh, it may vary but uh, in the case of bacteria it may vary it uh, it depends on the uh, morphology size and shape of the particular microorganism so that you have to take it into account uh, then gas flow rate, total volume, the total volume, the amount of uh, media that you are going to keep in a fermenter, that's also a very important parameter that comes under physical uh, physical uh, property. Feeding rate, power input, what's the power you are going to use uh, for the agitation, aeration, etc. And foam production. Foam production should be under very control uh, because this foam production is, uh, uh, it can lead to both contamination and containment. So, foam production should be controlled one. And uh, reactor weight, weight of the reactor has to be taken into account. Um, feeding tank weight, culture viscosity. Viscosity is also very important when you are going to do fermentation process. Uh, gas hold up and gas mixing pattern that's also very important uh, usually we use the baffles in the fermenter <coughs> for to break up the gases so these are all the parameters that comes under physical property now the chemical uh, parameters that to be monitored what are they ph dissolved oxygen this is very very important one and the next you have to see about dissolved carbon dioxide redox potential ga out, out gas analysis that, that that is what are the gases that's coming out of the fermenter it may be oxygen carbon dioxide or nitrogen then substrate product <laughs> substrate condition and product condition should be noticeable one then enzyme activities uh, volatile compounds conductivity biomass composition biomass composition uh, it may it is uh, nothing but uh, it's a combination of carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphorus and sulfur it may be phosphorus or sulfur so that that also has to be taken into account then metabolic profiling mineral ions uh, so the amount of substrate and the amount of product formed has to be <coughs> calculated uh, symmetrically while uh, uh, similarly while we are uh, doing the fermentation process and then the biological conditions to be carried out are uh, cell morphology cell viability optical density the weight of the dry biomass and uh, cellular composition specific growth rate so specific substrate consumption rate uh, product specific production rate so these are all the biological conditions that you have to take it into account and the next one is oxygen uptake rate carbon dioxide production rate uh, rq is nothing but respiratory quotient uh, then growth inhibitors that has to be uh, monitored protein uh, amount of protein uh, present in the particular media it may be the, uh, the protein may be of uh, produced by microbes or uh, it may be also present in the media itself uh, dna rna conditions atp that is amino adenosine triphosphate adenosine diphosphate and adenosine a, monophosphate atp adp and amp so these are the conditions you have to monitor or uh, these are the conditions different parameters that is uh, involved in the fermentation process so now let us see about the physical structure of biocontrol system 
and also the strategies and algorithms of a bioreactor control system okay so as you know this is a ferment app connected to uh, that is automated computer system that's a ferment shown here so what are the conditions has to be monitored physical conditions instrumental sensors first we, we can see about the physical parameters De temperature we have to check temperature pressure speed of speed that is agitation speed foam liquid level viscosity turbidity gas flux and liquid flux so these are the physical parameters okay the next about the chemical parameters uh, that is ph gas composition uh, so uh, this gas composition and uh, ph is very important to be monitored under chemical parameters so under physical parameters you have to see about the temperature pressure agitation foam liquid level viscosity turbidity gas flux and liquid flux okay so under chemical parameters you have to note about ph and gas composition and physiological or biochemical parameters you have to take into account of biomass morphology of uh, substance that is uh, <coughs> oxygen sulfur anything as morphology is the size shape and the shape of the particular microorganism which is being used in the fermentation process so if you are you going to use yeast means you have to know the morphology of particular yeast if you are going to use uh, use uh, bacteria means you have to know the particular morphology of the particular microorganism may be staphylococcus or anything as any microorganism what you are going to use it may be for citric acid production or uh, any beverages production or uh, any uh, back uh, any uh, sorry uh, amino acid production any production you can carry out in a fermentation process but you have to be very careful about the morphology of the particular microorganism which you are going to use for the fermentation process then the controlling you can use actuators like valves pumps motors on off switches and for data data gathering and processing you can use the technique uh, data manipulation that is a human operation can be used computers can be used a network uh, everything can be saved in your uh, cloud communication technology has to be used in the fermentation process uh, if it's a well developed for a well developed fermentation industry all those things has to be accommodated and strategies and algorithms of bioreactor control system uh, you can see monitoring uh, it's a soft sensor <coughs> and state estimator uh, physiological biochemical parameters has to be controlled and other secondary parameters uh, also you have to take it into account then what are the classic controls that had uh, that is being used in a fermentation processes on off control and pid control uh, advanced control you can use is fuzzy control artificial neural network model based control predictive control Uh, sorry model based control and predictive control hybrid control knowledge based control and artificial intelligence you can use in a uh, uh, use for the strategies and algorithms of a bio control bio reactor control system and data gathering and processing can be uh, done and also it can be stored that is the management of data can be uh, done under the storage visualization data mining communication standard protocol so oh, these are all the parameters to be monitored and controlled in a fermentation process okay if you like the video kindly like comment and share and subscribe the video thank you